Exercise 1b, question 1. First one, we've just got to multiply a couple of fractions together. So we're just going to times the top, a times a is a squared, and times the bottom, c times d is cd. Just putting it in alphabetical order, no need, you could put uh, dc as well. Uh, for part b, we've got a squared over c times c over a, and we can do some cancelling on this. There's a c on the top, there's a c on the bottom, there's an a on the bottom, and there is a couple of a's there, so let's cancel one of them, we'll leave it just a. For C, we've got 2 over X times by X over 4. Cancelling the X on the bottom and the X on the top. 2's into 2 go 1. 2's into 4 go 2, giving us a total of a half. Part D, it's a divide. First thing I'm going to do with the divide is I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of the second one. So I've got X over 6 here. And look, the X's cancel. 3 over 6 is another half. E, same thing again, it's a divide, so I'm going to change it to a times, and I'm going to flip the second fraction. I've got the y's cancelling there, so I've only got a 4 on the top, and I've got x times x is x squared on the bottom. And the last one of the first question is in terms of r, so again I'm going to multiply by the r cubed over 4, um, on the top here, well, no, actually, we can do a tiny cancel there, can't we? We've got twos into that and twos into that, giving you a total of r to the 5 on the top and 5 times 2 in the bottom is 10.